from crocs the size of house cats to dwarf-sized sauropods and micro-raptors. Here are 20 of the smallest and strangest prehistoric creatures. Number 20. Magurosaurus As we count down to the most minute creatures, this one is the largest on the list. It's a sauropod that lived around 66 million years ago in present-day Western Romania. While we typically think of sauropods as massive lumbering behemoths the size of buildings, this animal was a relative dwarf by comparison. Magurosaurus weighed about 2,400 pounds, that's one metric ton, and measured about 20 feet or 6 meters. In addition to its diminutive size, the creature was distinguished by unusual dermal armor. Because it inhabited islands, experts say the animal's reduced dimensions resulted from insular dwarfism. When larger animals are confined to island habitats, they tend to evolve with smaller proportions. Number 19. Tethys hadros Hadrosaurs were a group of dinosaurs that included duck-billed dinos. Those animals were so named due to their duck-like flat snouts. Some of them could measure more than 30 feet long, 9.5 metres, and weigh over 6,000 pounds, or 2.8 metric tonnes. Tethys hadros weighed about 770 pounds, 350 kilograms, and measured 13 feet, or 4 metres. Due to those dimensions, it has been identified as a genus of dwarf hadrosaurs. Their discovery was only the second time dinosaur fossils have been found in modern-day Italy. Similar to Magurosaurus, experts think this creature's small size resulted from insular dwarfism. Number 18. Minmi Ankylosaurs were known for the armor-like plating that covered their big bodies. Fossils of this critter have been located in Australia, where it existed during the early Cretaceous period, about 13 million years ago. It was a small, herbivorous quadruped that could have weighed about 660 pounds, 300 kilograms, and measured almost 10 feet, 3 meters. That might not seem so small, but consider that its relative Ankylosaurus could measure 26 feet long, 8 meters, and weigh more than 17,500 pounds, 8 metric tons. In light of that, its name Minmi seems appropriate, since it kind of sounds like Mini Me from the Austin Powers movies. But this critter was actually named for Minmi Crossing in Australia, where its fossils were discovered. Number 17. Neuralagus If you're familiar with Monty Python and the Holy Grail, you'll remember the scene with the killer rabbit. While this creature wasn't known to fly about and decapitate knights, it was known to grow pretty enormous for a rabbit. At around 50 pounds, 23 kilograms, it might have appeared like a vicious beast. With its larger legs and body, Neuralagus wouldn't be quite as cute as today's fluffy critters. It became extinct around 3 million years ago. Unlike modern rabbits, this giant version was unable to jump or hop. Number 16. Gasparini Sora At about 5.5 feet, 1.7 meters, and weighing just under 30 pounds, 13 kilograms, this creature was a small, bipedal herbivore identified as an ornithopod. Since many of them were small by nature, it's difficult to say which one was the smallest, but a lot of experts choose Gasparini Sora for that title. It was one of the few such creatures that lived in South America due to the scarcity of plant life there. These animals existed until 85 million years ago and were related to hadrosaurs. Number 15. Delong Tyrannosaurus were theropod dinosaurs that were imagined as large, powerful predators. That's probably due to the popularity of Tyrannosaurus rex, which could measure some 40 feet, 12.3 meters from head to tail, and weighed more than 18,500 pounds, 8.4 metric tons. But not all of them attained those massive sizes. Early on, the so-called tyrant lizards could be quite small, and Delong is a great example. They lived around 126 million years ago in northeast China and would have been only 6.5 feet long, that's less than 2 meters, at maturity. At a mere 25 pounds, 11 kilograms, they were known to display feathers. Did you know that Dilong means emperor dragon in Chinese? Number 14. Venisa Tia At only 2 feet long, 61 centimeters, and weighing 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms, this prehistoric reptile was about the size of a house cat, so it's no surprise that it was one of the smallest crocodilians that ever existed. It lived during the early Cretaceous about 130 million years ago, in areas from modern-day Europe to North America. Paleontologists say it was similar to the crocodile species of today and was probably semi-aquatic. 
With its long snout and knobbed armor, it could have resembled a scaled down version of Sarcosuchus. Number 13, Leptosian. Modern day canines may have had large ancient relatives like dire wolves, but this wasn't one of them. Leptosian weighed less than 4.4 pounds, two kilograms. That's smaller than some chihuahuas. Although these creatures looked more like slender foxes. They were endemic to North America until 10 million years ago and were very successful predators. Although they were small, various species managed to survive mostly unchanged for millions of years. Did you know these animals belong to the same subfamily as all extant dogs and foxes? Number 12, Cartarhynchus. Ichthyosaurs were marine reptiles that existed during the Mesozoic era, which started after the Permian-Triassic extinction event around 252 million years ago. Nearly 96% of all marine species were wiped out. One of the few survivors was this reptile, which was only 16 inches long, 40 centimeters, and weighed less than four and a half pounds, 2.2 kilograms. Even at that size, it's regarded as one of the larger marine reptiles of the early Triassic period. Millions of years later, its descendants grew into enormous beasts like Shastasaurus. Number 11, Horned Gopher. Measuring about one foot long, 30 centimeters, these unusual creatures represent the smallest mammals with horns. They're also the only known genus of rodent with such a characteristic. They lived until the late Pleistocene epoch in the present day Great Plains region of North America. The animals actually had two horns that were large in proportion to their body size. The purpose of those horns has spurred a lot of debate. While they likely did not use it for digging, experts speculate that they could have been used for self-defense or for mating displays. Number 10, Aquilops. Ceratopsian dinos like Triceratops could reach nearly 30 feet, nine meters, and weigh up to 26,000 pounds, 12 metric tons. They once roamed present-day North America and so did this Aquilops. But that's where the similarity ends. These Ceratopsians lived around 104 million years ago and were much smaller. Its total body length was about 60 centimeters and it weighed around three pounds, 1.4 kilograms. That's a far cry from its massive descendants, which could fend off a T-Rex. Number nine, Microraptors. Their cousins Velociraptors might be better known, but these diminutive dinosaurs had wings. In fact, it has been described as a four-winged dinosaur, with one set on its forelimbs and the other set located on its hind limbs. Experts speculate that the wings were used for gliding and possibly for powered flight as well, but that is yet to be definitively proven. Less than four feet tall, 1.2 meters, and weighing about two pounds, one kilogram, Microraptors were certainly that. They are regarded as some of the smallest non-avian dinosaurs yet discovered. Number eight, Falcatus. If you hear the term prehistoric shark, the first thing that comes to mind is probably Megalodon. That legendary beast is thought to have been more than 50 feet long, 16 meters, and weighed over 37 US tons, or 34 metric tons. About 300 million years before Megalodon appeared, this shark was found in present day Montana. But at a mere 12 inches long, 30 centimeters, and weighing about one pound, 454 grams, this is the smallest prehistoric shark identified to date. Experts say they were bug-eyed creatures with spines projecting from their heads, which may have played a role in their mating process. Number seven, Epidexipteryx. Think of dinosaurs and you usually think of huge, monstrous creatures. But this dinosaur would have measured about 10 inches long. Although if you added its tail feathers, that length extends to around 17 and a half inches and weighed less than six ounces, 164 grams. This critter is known from only one fossil specimen that was found in China. Researchers say it represents the earliest example of ornamental feathers known to date in the fossil record. The diminutive dinosaur lived around 160 million years ago. Number six, Opabinia. In a way, you could also call this soft-bodied critter a small marine version of an elephant it lived during the Middle Cambrian and had a hollow, flexible proboscis that brought food to its mouth, not unlike an elephant's trunk. Only 2.2 inches, 5.7 centimeters long, excluding the proboscis, this animal had five eyes, a mouth that faced backwards underneath its head, and a fan-shaped tail. There's been some debate over how to classify this creature, 
but it's now thought to belong to animals related to the ancestors of arthropods, which includes velvet worms and tardigrades. Number 5. Archecebus These tiny primates lived about 55 million years ago in modern-day central China. It may or may not have been the smallest prehistoric primate, but weighing just over 1 ounce, 30 grams, it could have made a claim to the title. They would have been about the size of mouse lemurs, which are the smallest primates alive today. Some sources say these animals may have been distant ancestors of modern apes, monkeys and humans. What do you think? Number 4. Iberomysornis Around 125 million years ago, these little birds were flying in the skies of present-day central Spain. They would have been no larger than sparrows or finches, and probably weighed about 20 grams, less than an ounce. Among its distinguishing physical traits were strong clawed feet for grasping branches, and tiny jaws filled with jagged teeth. Number 3. Triadobatricus Did you know that around 370 million years ago, amphibians were the largest land-dwelling animals on Earth? Their place was later usurped by larger prehistoric reptiles. Triadobatricus is the oldest known member of the frog lineage and lived during the early Triassic in present-day Madagascar. Experts say it weighed only a few ounces and measured about 4 inches long, 10 centimetres. It could swim by kicking its legs, but it couldn't jump. Most sources agree that these amphibians were the earliest ancestors of today's frogs. Number 2. Hadrocodium Measuring only 1.3 inches long, 3.2 centimetres and weighing around 2 grams, this was one of the smallest mammals that ever existed. The mouse-like animals were about the size of a paperclip and lived about 195 million years ago during the early Jurassic. Not unlike the modern-day platypus and echidna, these were mammals that could lay eggs. Number 1. Nemecolopterus Pterosaurs were flying reptiles, but they weren't flying dinosaurs. The best known of the lot is probably Quetzalcoatlus, which was one of the largest specimens. The subject of this segment is the smallest pterosaur known to date. It weighed only a few ounces and had a wingspan of about 10 inches, 25 centimeters. Nemecolopterus lived about 50 million years before its much larger cousin. Given the vast size differential, it's hard to believe they could be related. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.